For World Snake Day, we're highlighting a species of snake from each of the five most common snake families, including Calubridae, Boidae, Pythonidae, Vipiridae, and Elapidae. Whew, let's get started. Hi, I'm Aries. I'm a conservation educator here at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary, and this is my friend Panay, the gopher snake. We're gonna be talking about colubrids, which are identified in the snake families by this extremely narrow head of theirs. Now, gopher snakes in particular are very interesting because you can find them right here in Arizona. They might look pretty familiar, whether you're familiar with gopher snakes already, or if you're familiar with what rattlesnakes look like. Not only do these animals share a similar form of camouflage as an adaptation called mimicry to protect themselves from predators, tricking them into thinking that this is a venomous rattlesnake, but they also squish that notably narrow head down to try to attempt to mimic the wide viper head shape that rattlesnakes have. Hi, my name is Blythe and I'm a conservation educator here at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. Today we're going to be talking about the Boidae family and our representative is our wonderful friend Floyd, the Colombian rainbow boa. Now he may not look rainbow in appearance, but this beautiful friend, he has the ability to reflect light off of his scales due to microscopic little ridges that he has, so he almost acts as a tiny prism. Now, this gives us this beautiful iridescent hue on his body, which is where they get their name coined as the rainbow boa. One cool thing about boa species in general is that unlike most snakes, and more similar to our viper family, these guys do not lay eggs, but instead they give a form of live birth. Super cool. Woot. Hello, my name is Sammy. I'm one of the conservation educators here at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. My name is Vince. I'm one of the snake keepers here. And this is Banana Meringue, our albino Burmese python. He is one of our biggest friendly snakes that we have here at our sanctuary, and he is part of the Pythonidae family. The Pythonidae family is known for their very distinct heat pits on the front of their faces. They are called loreal or labial pits. These are the holes in the front of their faces that they use to sense the heat in their environment. That is how they're able to tell their prey where their prey is at and a lot of other things in their environment. And he is 11 and a half feet long. And this is Elijah at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about what's personally my favorite species of venomous snake. This is the Ethiopian mountain adder. This is the species that we chose to represent Viperidae. These guys belong to the same family as Gaboon Vipers. They come from Ethiopia as their name says. These guys are ambush hunters just like their cousins of the Gaboon Vipers. They're very rare and they have beautiful geometric pattern on their backs and really astonishing green color. And here we're going to talk about our ring calls cobras. These are the guys that we've picked as a representation of our Lapidae species here at PHS. These guys are very interesting though because they actually have keeled scales that are distinct to them as a cobra. And they're actually not even a true cobra to boot as well. And they spit and they give live birth. So they're a very, very interesting species. And a lot of us here love those black and orange markings that they have. This is our male right here. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for our videos every week. As always, thanks for watching.